Well, I've done videos of a lot of different lodges, uh, Masonic lodges, and however, one lodge I haven't done yet until now is my own lodge, a lodge that I'm a member of. Actually, currently, this is a lodge that I'm the city master in. You've entered the coolest life. <laughs> So this particular lodge is Rose Hill Lodge in Columbus, Georgia. This is uh, pretty standard as far as the, uh, the arrangement of different things in, um, in Georgia lodges. For example, you see the three, what we call the burning tapers uh, arranged around the holy altar. Inside the holy altar, like most lodges, it, it will open up and uh, it'll hold uh, uh, different books of, of different religious Bibles and other things in there also some ritual equipment. You can see we've got two rows of chairs. It's got plenty of room for people to, uh, to sit. Um, let's go up here. We'll take a look at some, some unique things for our lodge. You can see here's our, uh, our ballot box. It's a little different than some others. A little more, you know, some, some of made of plastic and this is all wood. It's really nice. We've got some hats back there. That's for a case we have a visiting officer come and sit with us. We've got extra hats if they want to. Now this is a, a gavel. A lot of uh, uh, states and jurisdictions will have a traveling gavel. This particular one is not a traveling gavel. What a traveling gavel is, you might have a gavel at, uh, at a, a lodge and it'll require at least five members from another lodge to come get it. So they have to come visit. And one of those members has got to be a, um, a sitting master in that lodge or maybe one of the top three officers. You can see the difference here. Some other lodges have got those uh, those columns. They've got a single column in front, maybe to the side. You can see we don't here. We actually have a, a podium. Some other orders may use this lodge too if they need to, and they have in the past. Uh, each one of the uh, aprons, this particular one is our uh, senior steward apron, it's, and he's got a cornucopia in the middle there, and actually on his staff, is also a cornucopia. So that's, that's the uh, logo of the stewards. We've also, also got a sound system, especially uh, we have a, uh, our secretary doesn't talk really loud. He's just, he's just not a real loud talker. So he's got, we've got a sound system here. So when he reads the minutes from next regular communication, we can, we can hear him. I mentioned before in different, uh, different lodges, you see there's three steps here and then over here, there's only one step. And then of course, the senior warden back there, he's got two steps that he sets up on. Symbolisms again. And then of course, that's his chair there. Not real ornate up top, but then again, the podium, it matches the podium at the worship master has. So they were all bought and purchased at the same time. This is actually instead of, this is actually a piece of leather here. It's not a, it's not a stone. Most uh, lodges you'll see have a stone. And you'll know that the, uh, the plum is his logo and the plum is actually on the front of the, uh, the column there. And it, the plum is also, you can see it's on his, uh, on his apron that he'll be wearing. Now, if you're a past master, you can sit in any of these chairs. Uh, if you're a pro timon uh, for the particular meeting, you would then wear the jewel, which goes around your neck, but uh, you could actually wear your past master apron if you wanted to. Especially if you're a Grand Line officer, you would wear your Grand Line officer apron. You can see that's not a cornucopia. That's got a moon in the middle, and so does their staff. And that's pretty standard in masonry. But this is uh, just to show you some, some about the Rose Hill Lodge and how beautiful it is. And they've got, a, got some really nice columns here. Not quite as tall as some other columns. Uh, these are about seven feet tall. And some columns are a little skinnier, some are a little larger. There's no real standard that what it has to be and what it can't be. There's another globe there. Well, that's Rose Hill Lodge. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. We have meetings uh, twice a month. Uh, typically every other Tuesday, which today's a Tuesday, we're actually doing our installations. Uh, uh, it's going on today, so we're doing our, installing our new officers for the ensuing year. Well, I hope you enjoyed that tour of Rose Hill Lodge, number 484 in Columbus, Georgia. Uh, 
Again, as I said, we meet twice a, twice a month. Uh, we don't go dark at all. I say that in, in, we do have a couple of days of the year we do go dark. We only have one meeting in December and one in October because our October meeting actually falls when we have our Grand Lodge um, reunion, I guess you could call it, that we have in, in Macon, Georgia every year. But that's where all the lodges will get together in the state of Georgia and pass laws and that sort of thing and, and, and review who's going to be our new master and, and, and all that. But uh, so anyway, we do go dark then, but typically in the state of Georgia, when we say someone, uh, a lodge has gone dark, that means they've closed down for good. Uh, other states will say they, they're dark uh, July and June or, or yeah, in August maybe, uh, but uh, that's not what we do here. We, when you say you go dark around here, you're basically not in business anymore, but I hope you enjoyed this tour. You can see the hat I've got on here. This is my master hat that I wore this year, um, and, uh, and I wore it uh, at Midland Lodge when I was uh, master there also. Uh, you can see the jewel I've got on here. This is the, the, the master's jewel. I'm the only one allowed to wear this particular jewel uh, uh, during while lodge is open. If uh, someone else were to sit in here pro tem and for me, then of course they would wear it. But that's what you would wear while you sit in the master's chair and to conduct business. Uh, hope you enjoyed this tour of uh, Rose Hill Lodge. We're not real fancy, but we, we do like our podium uh, up front and uh, uh, we like our gavel in the, in the side and also our holy altar is pretty nice too. But uh, if you ever get a chance to come out, come visit us, especially if you're a Mason. Uh, we have a huge dinner uh, area downstairs. It's about the size of this room here. Now, this particular room is pretty good size, but um, uh, but our, our dining room is a good size too downstairs. It's not as big as some, but it's bigger than others. So, uh, but uh, we, we uh, actually will rent that out to, for different uh, special events and that sort of thing. So uh, anyway, come visit us. I uh, hope you get a chance to like and subscribe this video. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my, my channel. Always looking for new subscribers and I'll be taking you through a tour of some other lodges in town and out of town. You're now exiting the coolest. Lodge.